Throughout the 15 chapters of Media Essentials, I learned many different medias through the waves of approaching paper to newspaper and in magazines, into radios and TVs, and eventually through shows and in the internet world. But one of the most core media diets I learned is how much media I intake in general. Most people in this generation have many different preferences and ways to take intake media. Especially if it came to the internet in this generation or newspaper from the older generations. Throughout the first two media diets, I always refresh my mind to critical thinking and understanding of certain scenarios. And these questions always made me learn to be more self-aware when it came to, I guess, social media. Next, I learned to understand the publicity of media and how it controls us or how we are of influence in it. This is where digital gaming and the internet take the most effect. By doing the media diets, I'm able to really just see how much of the question really impacts us or you know, makes us to start questioning some things. A great example is the media journal for social media. If you were to live without internet for a long time or a digital vacation, how would that make us feel? It helps create the skill in our own personal journalism lives to think about how we could reflect or how we would oppose to this type of media. This also helps us just to look around the media uh, of how much we consume and how much we grow from it or how much we can be harmed from it. This slide shows, you know, um, a digital media or digital media diet pyramid. And it's right next to a picture of how, you know, how connected we are in social media. This can relate a lot towards, like, during a pandemic where, um, you know, we use a lot of social media to just contact each other. Or, you know, through an online call, through gaming. There's uh, many differences that we learn from, you know, how this media diet affects us. <sighs> Connecting or disconnecting. So... What is the most compelling or interesting, or what do you struggle or feel disconnected from? Well, the most compelling problem for me was the TV or movies on the media diets. And the reason behind this is the appeal of movie and TVs in general. I like a good show to watch that will keep me entertained for hours and hours. Or, you know, a great example is the Avengers Cinematic Marvel Cinematic Universe. They have a lot of interesting and strong lore. And, you know, like, Infinity War and Endgame were one of the best uh, movies during their um, era and their gen the generation during that. It's awesome. And, you know, the certain genres that people just over like or appeal most towards. You know, and these medias are the most hyped and best viewed rather than, you know, hearing about horrible accent or reading something that barely interests someone in a newspaper. Like old time, the, gen the generation difference is very important. The problem with the most disconnect, in my opinion, was probably the book and publishing. The reason behind this is the appeal factor. It really just depends on the generation and the person's interest. But most of the published books in newspaper is either political or current events. Or if we're talk if we're going to like a specific like book you like, that's I feel like that's completely different. But like comic books, those are all different. I haven't really struggled trying to answer any of the problems, but I felt a lot of disconnect and disinterest in trying to connect with that type of media. When we're in a digital technology media where social media or public TV shows exist, it's hard to, you know, appeal towards that. And right here, I put um, a conjure of pictures that shows, you know, during the pandemic, and, you know, it really just shows how we dissociate ourselves you know, it was our head and our mental health, you know, being cooped inside for so long. Things like social media, like TikTok, playing video games for so long or being jailed by it through, you know, addiction. And, you know, just online education really just, you know, bums out. The media diet slash media habit changes and our awareness of it. Well, the media habits that I've started to notice have always been this noticeable, in my opinion. So I don't i already had know something like this i did understand or did learn to understand certain scenes and certain events that make me more self-aware during our um diet media journals and they make me more self-aware like certain bias news stations or maybe like a reading book that's changed from paper to digital those type of changes especially social media where you know they pretty much observe everything we do just like the film the social dilemma film 
As for changing, not much has changed since there's many factors to consider how to change. And when it comes to a specific call in our generation, or maybe it's like a short attention span, or even ignorance, I've become more aware than more, or I've become more aware than more how, or more how I am. I changed throughout my uh, media habits based off these journals that we've been doing. Uh, based on the COVID nineteen pandemic, I think I changed a lot because of the way we were forced to stay home and adapt. I think society in our era changed slowly based off trends and you know huge events. And you know movements overall, and COVID definitely helped change how we view the online world and even the reality of our current place. And I like to add, you know, graduating from schools during the COVID or just being adult during this pandemic, really just you know changes of how we are supposed to mature and grow up. And you know, either we grow up slowly or we take risk or changes, or you know, we go for something that you know that during the COVID gives us the best opportunities. A reference to Chapter Nine: The Internet and New Technologies, the Media Convergence. Uh, key points that I read throughout this um, throughout this chapter were: after the Second World War, the space race, which create the rock, creating a rocket to the moon, you know, versus the Soviet Union, by using microprocessors and machines for data transfers and much more. And these. Machines are actually one of the key parts to you know putting the internet out there. You know it's a start, and then um, the NSF opened the network publicly. Eventually, where programmers, hackers, researchers, you know people of interest through entertainment were to just like view the internet. You know expand it, and you know this whole interest that people just took, eventually where our internet is now and how we consume it. You know, and things like social media that's online and how we re we connect with people. You know, it's all thanks to this beginning. Access of internet change over time for a digital divide or division. Examples like early successful social media like Facebook in a d democratic society. You know, how we change when the internet comes into our lives. This different era that showcases what to hope for, you know, exploring more in the future or regard to consumption of content slash media. Well, what I do hope is to explore is how people interact more often on the internet. Great apps like Instagram or TikTok, maybe Facebook or, you know, Snapchat, all these different, you know, apps, they help create some sort of content that most of us desire. And, you know, whether that's just video games or, you know, dogs, puppies, cats, animals, or you know something some interest in cooking or certain just people interested in video games and such you know and where the influences of those apps help us with future apps we're all ready to move on wherever society is interested in it and what that really means is just just how we just function as a society together the consumer culture changes drastically with which what we have most interest in and how we function in it we technically we live off each other and we create more culture over the online internet through certain platforms, shows, or games. So independent or small communities in shows, TV shows, or you know characters that we like, fans, you know, and you know overall we just move together as a community, and we learn to explore those opportunities and interests by companies that you know go into those interests and help us you know stay make it stay alive. And we just hope that all that continues to move in the right direction. And, it, and the interest that we can just always adapt. Uh, there is even many studies that, you know, in the future, that help us understand why we're like this and how we change everything, especially in the internet culture. For this slide, I just want to, you know, talk about a... Um, is a video of video games changes and growth over the pandemic and that's pretty much it the video will be displayed with the with the link for any remaining questions on the media diet i was hoping that i was able to explore more political specifics when it came to that sort of media well some of the questions i have uh, may not be the most interesting or you know they're not the most interest i have personally but throughout for the media diets specifically they're they are related more toward the main media subject technically most popular gaming co companies to even exist show producers are sometimes 
influenced by the political media agenda and sometimes you can see the push through these agendas or even add more draw a game or a show just how much of these political issues do we just eat up between these medias it's a genuine question now another question i would like to ask is why any kind of media can be affected by a strong political push uh, a good example is uh, winnie the pooh is banned in china for um or shows like the She-Hulk, where it is pushed more for wokeness and the movement movement writers as an example. Not many people were happy with the show, and you know people suspect these things. Last question is a really political, but more towards um, one of the specific chapters for the music industry. According to the economics of sound recording and how it was created. How will the music industry change and appeal to our audiences more? And throughout because how we just pirate music now, or how we even use AI to make our own kind of music or to just rip off someone's voice.